Hey guys, how's it going? So this morning we're at a friend's house getting ready to plant these Holy Grail hibiscus. This is part of the Summerific series from Proven Winners, and we have showed you these before. In fact, this is about the time of year we start doing hibiscus videos and start planting them in our own landscape and for other people because this is when they look amazing. And I kind of wanted to talk about that because, like, you know, you usually aren't thinking about planting things when it's hot outside, which, you know, it's not the best time of year to be putting things in the ground because it takes a, a little bit more energy on your part to make sure they stay hydrated and all that sort of thing. Um, but hibiscus in the spring, when people are normally buying the bulk of their plants, these look like nothing in their cans. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. They look like little sticks that have been cut back because these hibiscus, they grow up fresh like this every single year and they're one of the last things to break dormancy in the spring. In fact, I remember at the garden center when I was working down there, it was one of my first years, I kind of kept walking by these cans of hibiscus. Everything else was looking gorgeous in the nursery and I put them up on my cart and I was heading to the dumpster with them. Cause I'm like, these are dead. And my mom caught me right in the middle of it. And she's like, no, these are not dead. These are totally fine. They just, it takes them a long time to wake up. And then when they start to grow, they grow fast and then they start blooming right around this time of year. So it was a really good learning experience for me. I almost threw away a whole bunch of inventory for nothing, um, but it's something to be thinking about when you are going to the garden center in the spring. If you see hibiscus that look like nothing, this is what they will still turn into. It doesn't, it just takes them a while to kind of come into their own. So this plant right here, now we've been keeping these in our high tunnel because like today it's supposed to be 105 degrees. And when you have plants in containers, it's a little harder to keep them hydrated, so we have them kind of under a shade. If you have these in full sun, which is what they prefer, their leaves deepen to almost a black color. So you have the black leaves and then contrasted by these big, enormous, usually eight to nine inch diameter flowers. And they just keep blooming, like midsummer through fall. Um, they are a zone four through nine, so they're incredibly winter hardy and they look so tropical. It looks like they should not survive a zone four and they get to be a, quite a nice size. Like, I would say they grow four to four and a half feet tall, maybe four and a half to five feet wide, like in one, like half a growing season, they get that big, which is amazing. So what we wanna do is we're gonna take, we have five of these to put in the ground. I wanna take these two back where the other ones are. We're gonna make a nice little grouping. This is kind of an open area that our friends are just starting to develop. So I'm really excited to add this bulk in for them. We're gonna get them planted and then we'll kind of walk through the area and show you. I think they're absolutely beautiful back here. I think this bright color just shines and I think the placement's gonna work out great because they've got two, no, three groupings of hibiscus all together. The two groupings we planted today and then we'll show you the third grouping over there in the corner and these are kind of centrally located. So the disbursement of hibiscus I think is nice. Plus there's plenty of room back behind to do some taller things and then plenty of room up front to graduate down in size. And Caleb, our friend's son came out and helped us dig one of the holes and then he was, he loves to garden. He loves to watch our videos, which is so sweet. And he's got his own little garden space. He went and picked us some sorrel, which he's super proud of, proud of and washed it up so he could give it a try. And I love that. I love it when kids want to get involved. So that was super, 
that was a super sweet moment. Um, but we are gonna be running drip to these after we've watered them in with the hose today and just make sure to eliminate any air pockets that might still be around the root balls. Plus, since it's so hot, a little supplemental water for these, especially in the next couple of weeks, is really important. So in case you're curious as to how we're going to run the drip, we have to go home and get our supplies. Um, but we're going to just tee off of their current drip tube that's running through here, and we'll just do a nice loop right around the base of each one of these plants, and then tee right back in over there, and then we'll pop individual emitters in for each one of these plants. That way it's very targeted water and very efficient. We won't be wasting any water in this space. The other two are right over here. I like it from this view. If you look at it from the front, you can see the sweet retaining wall and then the little swoop of spirea and then the two hibiscus back in here. And I think once they, I mean, they look beautiful now, but once they fill in and they're really bulky right here, I think it's gonna be just absolutely beautiful. And then the last hibiscus I wanted to show you is right over here in this corner. So you can see like we did one end, kind of the middle, and then this is on the far end here. These are called Summerific Evening Rose. Aren't they gorgeous? They planted these last summer, late in the summer, and they, this is how big they grow. I mean, these will even get, as they mature, they'll get even taller every single year. But I really wanted to show you these because the leaves on this variety do very much the same thing as the leaves on the Holy Grail. They get really dark, like kind of this deep purple, almost black color, which contrasts the blooms beautifully. And once the Holy Grail have been in the sun for a while, this is what they'll start to look like. So to cap this video off, I think we want to head home and show you the summerific Berry Awesome Hibiscus that we planted. I think it's been a couple of seasons ago now and they're looking beautiful. So let's head that direction. So this is the summerific Berry Awesome Hibiscus, which I planted uh, two seasons ago. So they're technically in their third growing season right now. And so you can see how much bigger they are as they have a chance to develop their root system and get a little bit more beefy like that. They just get so enormous and gorgeous. Look at how huge these blooms are. It's just amazing to me that we can grow something that looks like this in an area where it gets so cold in the winter time, usually. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these beautiful plants and we will see you in the next one. Bye.